Welcome to chapter 7, examining and manipulating the batty stacks. This button that we ignored uh, in the last video, view batty stacks, allows us to do just that, view the batty stacks. So I'm going to click that, and you can see that I've actually pre-populated the batty stack lists with some baddies here so that we have something to look at. You can see here that I've scouted four different one-point baddies. I've scouted a 20-point baddie, and I have defeated these four one-point baddies and the manticore, the five-point baddie. Any of these baddies you can click on and uh, view the their enlarged chip in the bottom left corner of the screen over there. So here's the cobalt tracker, and here's the dragon elder, and so forth. Uh, the two options you have for manipulation are to select a baddie and to move it to the top of the stack. So, for instance, I can come over here and click on this Griffin Yearling, which I've scouted, and I know for a fact is the third baddie uh, from the top. And I can move it to the top of the stack, and now it's at the top of the stack. So now the Griffin Yearling will come out first, followed by the Green Thumb, the Whelp, and the Bog Frog. Uh, so, uh, if I am instructed, however, to look for a particular type of batty, then uh, I have to click the appropriate view button to actually view the face down batty stack and then take the appropriate action. For instance, let's, uh, since Mole Mesh is our current tyrant, let's go ahead and look at Mole Mesh's. Tyrant and Encounter, which is a, a scent of a gear lock. And it says that if your party size is three to four, and our party size is four, we should search for the first five point wolf, owl bear, or griffin and place it on the tyrant card that will be added to the tyrant battle. So the first five point wolf, owl bear, or griffin. So, I would come over here to the five point baddies, I would click view, and I'm looking for the first wolf, well there it is, there's the full, the first wolf right there, uh, as opposed to the first owl bear or first griffin. Uh, so I would select dire wolf, and I would move it to the tyrant army list, that's what I call uh, any, any baddies that have been moved on top of the tyrant card. And you can see I've already put a Griffin Howler there. So if I click Move to Tyrant Army List, now the Dire Wolf has been removed from this list and added to this list over here. And so you can always see, uh, if you were curious what this list box was all about, you can always see what uh, other baddies you might be facing when you go, uh, when you finally end up tack, trying to tackle the uh, Mole Mesh. At least that's, these are the extra baddies you'll be facing in the first attempt when you uh, try to uh, defeat Mole Mesh. If you fail at that first attempt and you have some days remaining, of course, then these baddies will be gone and then you only have to face uh, uh, your batty points and Mole Mesh on the bottom of the, stout, uh, bottom of the battle queue. So essentially that's what the, this window allows you to do. It, it allows you, first of all, to review any baddies that you've scouted, any baddies, baddies that you've d discarded and de defeated and discarded, um, and if necessary, you can reveal one of the face down baddie stacks to look for a particular baddie and either move it to the top of the stack or move it to this tyrant army list over here. When you click on the close button, you will uh, instruct the program to reshuffle all of the baddie stacks that have been revealed. But you can see here you have the option to cheat and right click to close this uh, window without reshuffling the batty stacks. So um, if for some reason you wanted to remember that the Cobalt Fanatic was on top and you didn't want it to be reshuffled, you could do that. Uh, but uh, don't tell anyone. That's uh, all there is to really know about viewing and manip manipulating the batty stacks. Come back to Chapter 8, where we'll talk about loot. Thanks.